to the first vlog of 2024 on my channel anyway oh my goodness i cannot believe that it's 2024 i'm so excited about this year i'm feeling so good about this year it is currently 1 30 p.m it's a sunday and we started off the morning by going to the gym it was actually our first time ever working out at the gym which is crazy because we've had gym memberships for so long but we've only ever really used it to shower so this morning was a little bit out of our comfort zone but we felt so good afterwards so we're hoping to continue that routine of actually using the gym equipment and then after the gym we went to church and now Ezra is picking us up some lunch so I'm very excited about that but I feel like there's kind of a lot to update you guys on our life has drastically changed just in the last month December and all of January so far have just been a crazy time for our family there is so much happening behind the scenes and and so much that we're so excited for. We have so many visions and goals and dreams for this year that we believe God has really placed on both of our hearts and so I'm really excited to one talk about them with you today and number two to just kind of see them play out over the year. I'm just really excited and so so happy. He's watching out for daddy. He's not here yet buddy. Yeah, that little guard dog. Oh my goodness that's so cool. I've never had one of these. How cool! Why is it so flat? That's just what they are. Come on, off the road. Up. Go on. Go on. Go on. Keep going. Go on. Wow! How cool! I almost got over it. Wow! Lucky you didn't. That was so cool. I thought it was gonna let me pick it up because I thought it was gonna be like slow and happy sun baking, but it was happy to get out of the way. I don't think I've actually ever seen one in the wild. Before. Really? That was an eastern blue town. Eastern blue tone? Yeah. I like them. You can tell by its nose shape, like its head shape, and the pattern on its back. So if you aren't following me on my Instagram, you wouldn't have seen, but we actually moved states again. So I thought that this video could be just kind of like a sit down and chat, give you a little life update, a little introduction into what we believe our 2024 is going to look like. But yeah, I just thought it might be fun to sit you guys down and have a chat. So I'm going to pop you there. So we thought we would just chat a little bit about how we came to this decision, because this is actually the second second time that we've done this. Mm -hmm. The first time we moved from Melbourne to Queensland and that was about a year and a half ago and now we've moved from Queensland to South Australia so we've definitely been all over the place. I really feel as though our last move from Queensland to South Australia was very intentional. Mm. Not just by us but by God mm. and so I just kind of wanted to share a little bit about I guess why we moved. So we went away in August last year which I think he did a vlog about yeah. then as well. We stayed in like a tiny home and just like at the end of that we came to each other and went oh like that bit of extra space was really nice do you want to actually no that was just it it was like that bit of extra space was nice like wouldn't it pe be nice period like yeah. it was just that bit of extra space was nice wasn't it so we had kind of been loosely discussing a house i guess because we just are thinking about having more space and we also started thinking about what we want the future of our family to look like mm. and i guess that was just more settled we mm -hmm. both just felt i guess like we were ready to settle down i mm -hmm. guess Yep. And so then we started thinking in the scheme of Gold Coast to Brisbane, where do we want to live? Mm -hmm. Because we worked probably 10 minutes out of Brisbane CBD, mm -hmm. but all of our friends and everything that we love is down in the Gold Coast. Church, community, beaches. Yeah. Yeah. 
friends, which is community. Like that's all south end of the Goldie. Mm. It's anywhere from an hour and 20 minutes to two hour drive in the car from Brisbane to the Gold Coast. And so, I don't know, I remember we sat down at dinner one night and we were looking at the map and we were just like, where would you want to live here? Mm. We also started talking about the type of upbringing that we wanted our, or that we want our kids to have. Mm -hmm. And we both just kind of decided that we would prefer, I guess, more space. Also, the Gold Coast and Brisbane property market is insane at the moment. That goes for rentals and property, like buying. So then it begged the question of where exactly do we want to be? Because in the area that we wanted to be in, it was going to be an hour and a half away from where we both work. But if we were close to work, it would be an hour and a half away from everywhere that we loved. So that's where we kind of left it. We hadn't come to a decision on where we wanted to start looking for a property. And so we kind of left it for a little bit. And then randomly, probably the next week, Ezra and I both came to each other and just randomly bought up, both of us kind of at the same time, South Australia. Mm -hmm. And we both really feel like it was placed on our hearts for a reason. And the way that we just like approached it with each other, it was too much of a coincidence for it to not be an intentional thing that God put on our heart. Mm. And so for a little bit of backstory, Ez and I have visited South Australia many times. I think three or four times over the last couple of years. And every single time we have both said to each other that we love it and that we're moving mm. here. Yeah, when we left here the last time we were like, that's it, we're going back to Melbourne, working hard for a bit and then we're moving here yeah. and then that didn't, and then happen, that didn't so happen we moved to Queensland instead because God guided us there for that season but I just remember the first time we drove into South Australia and we were both in love and that mm. was three or four years ago now and so it was placed on our hearts at the exact same time and that day we actually prayed that if this is the direction that God wants us to go in that he just make it really clear to us which is actually similar to what we did when we moved up from Melbourne to Queensland and he just opened so many doors for us to get up here. There's no way that it could have been anything else but God and so I guess we wanted him to do that again if this was the right move for us. And so we prayed that prayer. Now going into the next part of the story, Ez and I both had very secure jobs in Queensland mm. and they were right next door to each other. So the warehouses literally shared a fence, which was so convenient, especially because we live in the van and we've only got one car between us and our car is our home. So it was just the best setup. Mm, it was very convenient. And I work for a big firm that's been around for a long time. So there was no worry about like job security or anything. And the same goes for Ezra. And so the week after we prayed that prayer, everyone in my team at work were sat down and were told that we were all being made redundant, which was definitely a shock to everyone because obviously the company has been around for such a long time. It is a successful company. And so, yeah, it was just very much a shock. But the first thing that they actually said after they told us that we were all made redundant is that there was a job opportunity in Adelaide. And so I just went to Ezra straight away. Mm, he and told me. We were shocked, but we were mm. like, what? Like, yeah. That can't be for us. That's so weird. Mm. And so we prayed another prayer. I wonder if this is right, let it be. Yeah. So there was three girls going for this role in South Australia. Yeah, including yourself. Including me, yeah. And they were told that they'd need to like do two interviews. He got told that and then like two days went by and on the day when the interview was meant to happen, her manager just came to her and went, oh yeah, don't worry about the interview. We're just going to give you the job. So random but not random it was God and it, it just goes to show that anything that's meant for you won't pass you mm. either and so from there we just got so many more signs from all of our friends from pastors at our church from people at our church that actually hadn't ever met us before but came up and almost like spoke prophecy over us straight away and so we just got so many different signs that this was a place for us to be mm. and doors were opening down here and closing up there just so beautifully the whole process was so seamless and we really didn't have to I guess put too much thought mm. or effort into it and no. that's how I know it was also from God mm. and we also prayed the prayer of Lord if this is not from you then close the door 
-hmm. We don't want it, but obviously that didn't happen. Fast forward and here we are. So yeah, so that is a little bit of the backstory as to why we are down here. We are really, really excited for what the future holds for us and our family. But yeah, we're also just so excited and happy because Adelaide is so much closer to Melbourne, which mm. is where both of our families live. Mm. That was another positive uh, with the move was being closer to both of our families. So both of our families are in Melbourne because obviously that's where we're from. So just being an eight hour drive away or a one hour flight instead of a three hour flight and two day drive to full day drive was just way more appealing as well. Especially as we start to think about having children. That's something that obviously we both love to do. And so, yeah, we just wanted to be a little bit closer to our families for that. Yeah, we really just got so many signs. We just gave you the extremely condensed, condensed version. version just then. A lot went on over the course of like three months that like really showed us that we were... That we were making the right decision. Yeah. Yeah, and that coming here is the right decision. But we are just so excited that we're here. We're so excited for somewhere new. It's always really happy to start finding new friendship mm. groups. And I love all of our friends in Queensland so much. And obviously learning to leave that season of our lives behind is really sad in a lot mm. of ways. But, but there's been so many positives already since moving here. Yeah. And we're just really looking forward to... Yeah what the future holds. God has already been so faithful and we've only been down here for less Not than a, less than Tomorrow a week. is a one week. Yeah. It's already just proving to be so fruitful. So fruitful. Mm -hmm. So happy that we're here. I'm so happy that God is guiding us through everything. I feel so grateful. That basically sums up I guess why we move. Mm. But yeah. The sunset is so beautiful. <gasps> Hi buddy! Hi! Isn't that pretty? Nice, huh? Yeah! Thanks for showing me! I'm glad I went out for the sunset because that was so beautiful. Anyway, while I am here I thought that I would go through some of my ins and outs of 2024. I don't know where this originated from. I just kind of saw it all over my Instagram. But I really like the idea of doing ins and outs instead of specific goals. For me they just feel a lot more gentle and I think that it will be actually in the long run a more effective way of me achieving the things that I want to achieve. So I posted my ins and outs, my full list to my Instagram. I'll actually put a screenshot up here. But I think I saved it in my 2024 highlights so you can go to that if you want to have it full screen on your phone. So some of my ins are YouTube. I have a lot of goals for this channel. I'm really excited. I'm really just trying to be I guess more disciplined and intentional with what I post and the frequency, how often I post, but not only creating, also watching. I am really enjoying long form content nowadays. I used to be so into short form content like reels and TikTok, but I just feel like that can be so impersonal. I'm really just enjoying long form content at the moment so that's what is in for me this year. I've also got minimalism. I have decluttered probably about 70% of my wardrobe. I have now only a select few dresses that I wear on rotation that are all made from natural fibers and yeah I plan on keeping it that way. Routine and discipline. This is something that I guess I have always struggled with. My parents growing up were always kind of very go with the flow type of people and that's great. I'm not saying that's a bad thing but that's made me be like that and so I guess I more just kind of wonder what it would be like to have more routine and more discipline and so that is in for me this year. Uh, more intentional purchases, cooking from scratch, moving my body in any way whether it be walking, working out, anything, reading before bed that is a big one. I have set myself a goal of reading 12 books this year. So far I'm on track, I'm on my second book of 2022. Uh, 2024 I mean and we're only halfway through January so I'm really happy about that. It also just makes it so much easier for me to fall asleep personally so I much prefer reading before bed over going on my phone. Speaking less and listening more. This is a big one. It's pretty simple I guess the words are in the sentence it kind of says it all but yeah we have two ears and one mouth so I just plan on really utilizing that. <laughs> Wearing natural fabrics. Embracing different seasons. This is 
also a big one. A big reason of why we moved away from Melbourne, or so I thought at the time, is because I <laughs> did not like the weather. And if you are from Melbourne, you know what I'm talking about. Four seasons in one day. It is so cold for a lot of the year. The sky is grey way more often than it is blue. So moving to Queensland, that is something that I was so excited about and something that I really loved when we were there. But then when God called us down to South Australia, obviously South Australia has a different climate to Queensland. So I really just started thinking about being more intentional with the seasons and embracing the different seasons rather than always chasing the sun or yearning for a blue sky. So yeah, embracing the seasons is one of my big goals this year. Intentional date nights, spending more time with family. When we lived in Queensland, I went 12 months without seeing our family. And so I just really don't want to do that again. I love my family. I have a lot of young siblings that I want to watch grow up. And yeah, spending more time with my family is a big one for me. Family mission statement. I'm really excited about this one. Ez and I have had two family team meetings so far for the year. And we are currently trying to come up with our family mission statement. We have already established a couple of core pillars for our family and honestly anytime I do anything whether it's have a conversation with someone or offer a helping hand I'm constantly reminded of the family mission statement that we have all these pillars that we've established already and so I just think it's a really good foundation I just love the intention behind it we got the idea of Jess and Gabriel Conti I love them I've been following them for I don't even know how long since before they got engaged and I think they've been married for like seven or eight years so I've been following them for a while love them such genuine wholesome people and I really love how they lead I love the way they display Christ in their actions and so taking a leaf out of their book and Ez and I are creating a family mission statement I'm really excited to see the fruits of that as well just being more intentional with our family dynamic welcoming change moving states can't really get much more changey than that well it can but that's still a big change a positive mindset. I think that one speaks for itself. And gentleness. So just in everything I do, the way that I speak, the type of wife I am, the type of mother that I want to be, the type of friend that I aspire to be, just in every aspect. And now my outs of 2024. First one is TikTok. So Ez and I both got new phones just recently, right before the new year, and we collectively decided to not download TikTok on our new phones. And so we both haven't had it in probably a month now and it has honestly been so refreshing. I'm never stuck in like an endless scroll. I feel as though my attention span is better. I also felt a lot like TikTok is very kind of like doomsday scrolling. I don't know, I kind of got a lot of things come up on my For You page that can just really induce anxiety and the spirit of fear is not welcome here so had to get rid of that but it also goes along with the short form content long form content thing I just felt like I was not able to connect with people and TikTok the way that I want to second thing is the spirit of fear spirit of fear has no place in my house in Jesus name I'm not being fearful about anything God's got it he will establish my steps he restores my soul I am really going to be intentional about not making decisions out of any fear. Feeling guilty for relaxing speaks for itself as well. Imposter syndrome. I think this is something that is so easy to struggle with. Just feeling like nobody cares about you or nobody likes you or likes any of the things that you have to say. I don't know. I think it's easy to experience imposter syndrome in one way or another. Not that it's always necessarily a syndrome but I think that's just kind of what it or what this feeling is characterized as. But yeah I guess I really struggle or have struggled over the years with just feeling like I'm not enough or I don't even know how to explain it but yeah I'm done with feeling that way that's not who God says I am I'm going to just stick to what the Lord says about me and nothing else no imposter syndrome here synthetic materials wearing sleeping in all of that and complaining complaining is a big one it's so easy for me to just like make a funny little complaining type comment and 
yeah I just don't want to be complaining at all I want to feel grateful I want the words that I speak to reflect how grateful I am and how grateful I feel every single day I don't want to be in want I don't want to be yearning for anything I'm just trying to be a lot more intentional about not complaining and using my tongue to speak life instead of death and that comes with not complaining yeah you're nodding Ez has just opened the front door oh well the cabin door hang on I'm trying to zoom in <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so there is a bit of a life update for you. A little look into hopefully what our 2024 is going to look like. Of course, we do have more specific goals as well that we've written down. But yeah, I just, like I said, think that the ins and outs thing is a better way of going about it for me. So I'm really excited for that. I'm excited to be a lot more intentional this year. Oh, that's the other thing. My word of the year is intention. At the end of last year, I actually asked the Lord what my word of 2024 should be and immediately I heard the word intention and it was so random because I'd never thought of that so crazy but yeah I'm really excited I just have so many hopes and I feel so excited for what this year is going to bring I think that this year is going to be so beautiful and fruitful for so many people and I'm just really excited to be here so hope you enjoy this video if you have any ins and outs i would love to hear them leave them below and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching love you bye